everybody. So for reading, we have been talking about cause and effect. So on Monday, um, you should have watched a brain pop video to kind of introduce us to cause and effect. Then on Tuesday, Mrs. Holman taught a short lesson using some cause and effect cards. And now today, we are going to read a story and we're gonna talk about cause and effect in the story. But first what I wanna do is review cause and effect. So I'm gonna put my camera over here. Okay. So boys and girls, when you're reading a story, um, there's, there's a why something happens and then what happens because of it. So a cause is the reason, okay? And that means why something happened. And I use the example of my ice cream cone melted, my ice cream melted, and why, the why, it was a hot day. So the effect was my ice cream melted, why it was a hot day. So the effect is the result, what happened, okay? So it was my ice cream melted was the effect or what happened okay so before we talk about the story we're going to talk to with cause and effect i want to go over a couple more cause and effect cards so let's go ahead and i'll hold up some cards okay so the cause bob got a paper cut must be he was using some paper maybe writing a story so what was the result? What happened? Bob got a paper cut, so he needed a Band-Aid. So the cause is Bob got a paper cut. What happened? He needed a Band-Aid. All right. So the cause is Billy must have had a test, so he studied all night. What was the effect of that? If he studied all night, he got an A on the test. So the cause is he studied all night, he had a test. The effect is he got an A. All right, and let's do one more. So the cause is the iPad had no battery. So what happened? What if your iPad had no battery? What do you do? You plug it into the charger, that's the effect. The cause, the iPad had no battery, must be you used it too much. And then the effect is the iPad was plugged into the charger. All right, friends. So on our read aloud page, you should have listened to the story, No David, okay? And we're gonna talk a little bit about cause and effect in No David. So again, you should have listened to No David. It's a real kind of short story. It's only a couple minutes long, but it has a lot of great cause and effect in that story, okay? So David does a lot of things in that story where his mom keeps saying, no, David, no, David. So what I have done, <coughs> excuse me, I have written down some of the causes of what David did and some of the effects that could happen. Um, so first one, I'm gonna hold up my piece of paper here. So I have this nice cause and effect paper. Okay, let me move this just a little bit. There we go, okay. So the cause and then here's the effect. So it has a nice little arrow in the middle so this happened and then the effect happened. So if you remember back to the story, David's mom told him not to play ball in the house, but guess what? He did it anyway, so what happened? He broke the vase, that's the effect. So he played ball in the house, he broke the vase. And I don't know if you remember, there was another effect that happened. He had to go to his room, I believe, or stand in a corner, one of them. So. The next cause, if you remember, he was putting too much food in his mouth. Why would his mom not want him to put too much food in his mouth? What could happen? Yeah, he could choke, okay? So the cause is putting too much food in your mouth and that the effect would be to choke, 
okay? And the last one that I picked, um, he was picking his nose, all right? And his mom's like, no, don't pick your nose, it's gross. Why wouldn't she want him to pick his nose? What would happen? It would spread germs, okay? If you pick your nose, then you'll spread germs. If you put too much food in your mouth, then you would choke. If you played ball in the house, you would break something. Okay, do you see how these kind of work together? All right, so your job now is to pick a couple other things from No David. And I'm going to give you this paper so that you can print it off. If you do not have a printer, that's okay. Just use a piece of paper. And on one side, you could label the cause. And then on the other side, you could label the effect. So there are lots of things in No David that you could pick. I wrote down a few. I wrote down a few here. But there was a time that he was reaching high up on that shelf for the cookie jar. What would be the effect of that? He was tracking in mud all over the place. What would be the effect of that? He was splashing water out of the tub. All of those things. And then he kind of ran naked down the street. That is a no-no. What could happen because of that? So, boys and girls, I'd love to hear some of your cause and effects of No David. Um, your parents could take a picture um, and send it to me through Class Dojo, or if not, that's okay too. Um, so I'm really hoping that you think about um, all those causes and effect and know David. There's a lot in there. So, all right, good luck finding those cause and effects. Have a good day.